Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Um, you're hanging in there, you're basically telling me that you are validating that you are on the same same frequency as me which is truly a blessing because it sucks to feel like you are alone going through all these crazy situations so it is it's very comforting to me it's very comforting to me so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you feel like you are comfortable enough, drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Scooby done fell, my bad. Um, you know, especially if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about, you know, your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or it just gave you some good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one or friend or just a fellow empath that are going through things, um, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and giving me so much love. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Y'all, that last video was so uncomfortable. I know y'all can probably tell. I was like, ugh, I hate talking about negative stuff. I really do. But it's just like when, um, let me turn this down a little bit. Um, when, when universe and source asked me to talk about it, it's like, Hey, you know, I know you don't want to talk about nothing negative, but we needed you to talk about false twin flames. And I'm like, uh, you know, I love talking about the positive things out of twin flames, but having to deal with somebody that is not really your twin flame has to be really uncomfortable and really sad to have to deal with. But, you know, I deliver a message when they tell me to. But anyways, the uh, meditation music that I'm listening to today is called Brain Bliss, Free, uh, Feed Your Your Brain with the best relaxation sounds, rain and quantum consciousness hurts. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101, understanding your true calling. Yes, I hope you understand your true calling. You know, you when you were little, like there are some people say, I want to be a superhero. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a firefighter. I want to be a policewoman or a policeman. You know, and there's always something that you wanted to do as a child that will basically tell you what you're going to be doing, you know, when you get older, you know, at least that's what it happened. You know, that's what happened to me. I always told my mom I wanted to help out people, you know, make them feel good, make them feel nice. You know, I used to tell, you know, if you've been with me for a while, I told you back, especially when I was in Germany, when I lived in Frankfurt, Germany, I used to love when we used to go into the village and, you know, I would see all these people out there and I would always give them a hug. And my mom used to snatch me up saying, you need to stop doing that because I was like three or four um, doing that. And I was just like, it's okay. You know, they need to be cheered up, you know, because I could, it's like my, my empath, um, gift was very strong very heightened at that time and, you know my mom was like you know somebody gonna end up kidnapping her one day but it was just like you really have to understand you know the things that you're going through right now is basically you know putting you in line for the things that you're going to be doing for you being an empath for you being a hay oak or a twin flame or indigo or star seed or crystal rainbow child whatever you are you know it's going to help you in line to being on your true path you know it's just like sometimes we like i told y'all before you're at jobs that you know that really sucks you're going through a spiritual awakening next thing you know boom you lose your job you're like what am i going to do you know and it just so happens you know I'm, I'm, I'm meeting in a lot of line you know people tell me rosalind don't have a job but you know it's by the grace of god grace grace uh grace of the universe that you're getting supplied on every need that you're needing to go through you know we're, you're watching my videos it's basically telling you the things they're going through you know some people are like well you got a microphone in my house you you know you listen to my conversations no we're just all on the same level we're all on the same frequency even though that can be very freaky that we're going through these things you know i, I go 
you know, go online looking for, you know, jobs, you know, even ones I don't really want to deal with, but I'm just saying, you know what, look, I got to support my needs. I got to support, I got, you know, a household I'm trying to help uh, bring money towards and stuff like that, but it never seems to work out, you know, and it can be a nice paying job. And it's just like, you know, I'm not really flowing with it, but you know, hey, I'm gonna do what I got to do to get by, but the universe is not allowing me to do that. Because some people are like, Rosalyn, what does that mean? It Because it's like universe is not going to allow anything to be, you know, they're going to make sure your needs are being met. Even though you might be going through some things that, at the time, you know, if you're struggling right now, trust me, I know the feeling, you know, I, I like to be, I'm the type of person, I like money. I like to deal with my own things. I like to be able to supply things for myself. But universe got something else set up for me. <laughs> so it's just like dealing with what I do. I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to just go with the flow on this. I can't force anything. You can't force anything to happen for you because it's not going to work out. Trust me, it's not going to work out. You could be going on ass loads of interviews and it's just like you could be be fitting everything that they want but then you will never get that call back because you're supposed to be doing something on your spiritual level you need to be doing something that you've been called here on this earth to do you know you're like an earth angel and you're doing things to help other people out you know you could be a motivational speaker like I told y'all I want to be a motivational speaker I want to be able to get to that point where I have a lot of uh, subscribers to where I can go from different states and cities to be able to talk to different empaths to let them know hey we all go through things you know you, you go through things to get to them you know you're finding out your true path your true calling about yourself you know there's some things that you know your life had to be shaken up for just for you to be able to see the true you the true person that you're supposed to be where what path you supposed to be on because sometimes you know some people are, are here being just being and they're okay with that I can't see myself doing that because I don't want to be walking around earth and don't know what the heck I'm here for you know I, I know I'm you know everybody has a purpose but some people you know are okay being like they are and some of them that are very you know highly chosen specially picked your life goes through a lot of hell just for you to be able to see the things that you're supposed to be doing you know if there's something you know that you got a spiritual based on you might end up having a magic shop or you might end up being a person to be selling crystals or something like that or selling love potions something is going to go in line of your spiritual gifts something is going on line you know going in line for your spiritual calling being able to understand that and putting that into a perspective can be hard at times but it's just like everything is happening to you for a reason everything is going on for you at divine timing you know never feel like oh it's too late or i'm rushing and things is going to pass me by everything is going exactly how you got to go through it you might have your push and pull days you might have your days of self-doubt you might have your days of in inspirations these things are going to happen to you trust me i know because i'm going through them myself <laughs> there's days i don't want to get out of bed there's days i just get frustrated with the universe and say why me i'm tired of going through this why can't my day my, my you know my life end up being better than what it is but i know everything is heading the way it's supposed to head you know i'm meeting different people going through my life of mess up, mishaps, setbacks, and all that stuff, but I love making my videos. I love being able to put, make sense of think, crazy things that goes on in our life to know that, hey, you're not the only one going through this. There's many other people who are going through this too. Just make your video and see who connects with what, you know, and, it, and it's just a blessing to be able to do that. Now I'm just like, you know what, this is my calling. I never knew what where this was going to bring me to. You know, they used to always tell me, um, you know, Rosalind, make these videos, you know, I, I would hear these voices in my head and saying, hey, talk about this, just like I didn't want to talk about no false twin flame. I hate talking about negative things, you know, if, especially I know, you know, I, I had to talk to somebody recently about going through that, and it just broke my heart just to know that they went through something like that, and I hope they're okay. I haven't heard from them for a while, but it's, it's just like we have to go through some really tragic things for us to, you know, make perfect sense of our life because when everything is said and done and you're over the things that has hurt you, you're going to understand why you had to go through that situation. You're going to have to understand why it took so long for your blessings to come through because there's so many lessons and so many things that has to come front, come to the forefront for you to understand why they happen the way they happen. So knowing, understanding your true calling 
is it's gonna take something to get to something you gotta understand that so be patient with yourself be gentle with yourself don't get frustrated even though that's time you're like Rosalind that's easier said than done boo boo I know trust me I know so when you're going through things know you're going through it for a reason you know, when I see my children going through stuff, they're like, Mom, I'm worried this and this and that going to happen. I said, baby, just be, just, you know, believe, believe. There's sometimes I'll be trying to, you know, it's easier said that when you're not the one dealing with it. But I just pray for my kids all the time that things happen. Like recently, you know, I was having people, you know, you know, hey, go to my daughter's website, this and this and that. You know, I was doing that religiously every day for her because I said I was going to make sure she got that deadline and she got over what she needed. And I made sure that happened. And, you know, she kept on saying, Mama, Mama, thank you so much. And, ooh, you supported me. And then I cried tears of joy because I was happy I was able to do that. You know, and it's just like you got to be inspiring towards yourself. You have to be inspiring towards other people. If you see other people that are getting the things that you want in life, you congratulate them because that lets you know that you're right in line to get the same thing. When you're jealous and look like, ugh, why did they have to get that and I didn't? Don't do that because you're going to repel any blessing that you have towards yourself is supposed to be coming. Because it's like when I see, you know, people that I know that for years getting married and, you know, things working out for them, they're starting their own businesses. I cheer them on because I know these are things that I want in life. These are the things I want for myself. When I start seeing things that I want happening around me, that's how I know that things are coming towards me. So, you know, know, understand your true calling, knowing that you have to go through hell and high water, but it's going to make a lot of sense towards the end of the day. So pay attention to the signs, work on you, work on your spiritual mindset, you know, get to know your gift a little bit more. You know, do some more research, learn some more things about yourself that you never knew before. And you will understand the reason why you had to go through what you had to go through. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I said I was only going to do three videos, but I'm going to go ahead and do another one. Um, and, you know, like I said, like and subscribe. Let me know if you're going through some stuff like that right now. You know, trying to understand your true calling and all that. Um, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for y'all's better days. I know I do. I pray for y'all each and every day. I love y'all so much. Um, and I'm giving a post notification shout out to Lost Puppy, and Marie Snee, um, and Diane Waite, and Diamond King. Much love to y'all. And the love and blessings. Hope everybody is doing blessed and having a blessed, prosperous week. If you're going through some hell, I'm really praying for you and praying that things will come up for you. So, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line, let me know if you, you know, you're trying to understand your true calling right now, and you know you're going through things. I can send you an uplift. And I will talk to you on my next video. Much love, peace, be wise.